Hi, I'm Jamie Coulter. I'm the mentor for this course, various courses, and uh, you are now taking either criminal law, criminal procedure, constitutional law, evidence, or the MSL criminal law program. A uh, little bit about me, background. I've been a prosecutor for 25 years, started the Riverside DA's office, and then transferred to Orange County. I've handled all kinds of criminal cases, so my, largely my expertise is in that area. Um, things to look for in, in the course as you're going through it. What I would really like to develop in the learners is a sense a, a, and a good foundation knowledge of good fundamental legal reasoning. And what that involves is really as you're reading some of the cases that we uh, talk about when you're reading judicial decisions, you're going to be looking at how the judges decided in that case what was important and, and what they ruled. Now, in describing that in your papers, it's important to describe the analysis. How do you reach the conclusion? I'm not so worried about the conclusion, but I'm more concerned about what, is the what are the steps that got you to the conclusion? And, how to, and using similar reasoning as the court decisions that you're going to read about, the how and the why did they reach that decision is really the important thing to dig into to help you get that initial uh, good fundamental solid base of legal reasoning because that's really the important tool you're going to need um, as an attorney or if you're in the other uh, MSL law program, understanding how to think like a lawyer. You're going to hear that. We're training you how to think like a lawyer. But really in doing that, you have to see how other lawyers and judges have decided cases. How did they view that case? And then as you're developing that, describe how you reached your conclusion. What facts did you find significant? What issues were relevant? How did you put two, two and two together to reach your conclusion? Um, because the, the common mistake that I see law students make is they've been trained all their educational career to get the right answer, to get the right conclusion. Two plus two equals four. And they, and they write down, okay, that, that's, the answer to that is the number four. Well, law school and legal reasoning, we're not so much concerned with that. We're concerned with the process. How did you arrive at the conclusion? Why was two significant? Why was the other two significant? How did they add together? Why are you adding it instead of subtracting it? What's significant? So as you're studying these cases, pay attention to how judges decided in cases, look how they reason through it. And then as you're, you're crafting your responses to this, your, your uh, essays, describe to me how did, what was significant? How did you reach your conclusion? So I wish you the best in the course. Um, I'm available the best way is through the email and submitting the documents, and I will provide the feedback to you. Uh, but I wish you the best in your legal pursuits and careers.